Guys, I just wanted to add this video. Um, so in the last video, I talked about using I, using the snake. Um, I use it as an example actually to show you the, what the cross section, the church window cross section looks like. Um, so in this video, I'm actually using it in a repair. It's uh, a GM a light SUV. It was a pretty big dent, a uh, soft dent in the quarter panel, but there was a few sharp creases in it. Some of them were open and some of them were in uh, sound deadener. So I did use this part. If you haven't seen the video, there's a sharp blade and just off of it, there's a really nice radius you can use. And it's using it bare uh, metal on metal. You can lift the metal really nice, making very little defects and really easy to knock down. So in this video, I hopefully you can see what I mean. I just want to give you that visual feedback, um, what to expect when using it in this way. So uh, thanks for checking out this video and the last videos. Uh, we'll see you soon. Peace. So I'm just finishing up this um, this little Chevy SUV that got hit really bad here. I don't know if you remember from yesterday, but um, I just wanted to show you something. See that? This right there is uh, some cracked paint, and um, it's because this thing got hit so hard. I always say there's always the deeper it is, the wider out the buckles are, because it usually when it's deep, it usually means that the waves got sent out really far all the way to the edge here and this is evidence of that like it buckled out so hard uh, at one point during the impact that it blew off the paint so there was like a buckle here um, anyways it's all fixed I'm gonna touch that up and put this back to tail light back together and also uh, the one of the main tools I used was the, uh, this, the HD snakes and uh, this one I kind of colored the tip uh, to show you what parts I was using on this one. This is the long one I used for finishing. So as you can see, I colored the whole thing red um, and I was mainly on this part. So when I want softer pushes, I was up here, lower down, and then when I wanted sharper push up from right on this, um, this is like a razor edge. Yeah, and this is what I, this is the shorter one I started off with. So I was kind of rolling the metal from here to here and uh, also um, I didn't color the whole thing but I'm, I was trying to be on this edge more. So this is where you get your softer pushes and, and there as well. Um, and I did have, there was some sound deadener so I was uh, up on this sharp edge right here, this blade edge. The other tool I really liked on this was the, uh, this is the Sword Crane Hybrid. It's an HD half inch tool. So this, the sword tip is quite um, shaved, so it was, it was able to get down right to the bottom uh, near the molding where it's really tight. Um, and then I was kind of uh, slapping the panel with this right along here, this panel, that's what I was trying to do. Um, yeah, so these are the three main tools I use on this one. And I also used the pirate hook to start. This, this tool, it's kind of the jack of all trades for me.